Welcome to the Connections Online Tutorial for the US Edition. This video is an overview of the materials section available in the software. Upon opening the Connections software, various types of connections are available under the Post and Beam and Lab Share categories. The connection types are also displayed graphically. The way that the software works is you go through a step-by-step -step selection of the connections type in order to narrow your choice for the design. In fact, when clicking Post and Beam, the only images that will be displayed on the screen are the ones related to that category. As you can see, in this case, you will find different images for beam to beam, beam to column, and column to base connection types. At this point, you can either select the image or open subcategories from the three types of connections we have just mentioned. For example, in the beam to beam section, the three images illustrated are respectively one-sided, two-sided, and slop connections, which is the same as the subcategories from that section. Furthermore, the last choice to make before designing the connection is the type of connector shown in the image. In this case, when choosing a one-sided beam-to-beam display, the connectors available are shear plates, bolts, top hanger, and lag screws. Now, let's look at some of the connectors available in the software, as well as their design options and capabilities. Shear plates are available in two sizes, 2 and 5 eighths of an inch or 4 inch diameter. For wood to wood joints, two shear plates are placed back to back in connection. For wood to steel side plate joints, a single shear plate accompanies a steel plate. They are generally used in heavy timber or glue lamp structures where there are larger loads to be resisted. They are also used in large trusses, beam to beam connections, column to foundation connection, arc peaks, and timber bridges. They can be useful in structures that are expected to move and rotate while in use. For example, structures that fold up such as some types of formwork. Now let's move on to the bolts. Bolts are widely used in timber construction. They take moderate to high loads with relatively few connectors. They can often be installed internally, with typical application being beam to beam, beam to column, column to base, trusses, arcs, post and beam, bridges, and marine structures. Lag screws, which are sometimes called lag bolts, are used to anchor metal or wood in place in places where through bolts are undesirable or impractical to use. They can be loaded in shear or in withdrawal. Finally, let's talk about nails. They are manufactured in many lengths, diameters, style, materials, and finishes. Nails are used extensively in all types of wood construction. They are viable connection type for structures with light to moderate loads. They are very useful when ductile connection type is required, such as seismic load resisting elements. Their typical applications include light frame wood construction, post and beam construction, shear walls and diaphragms, wood trusses, and wood panel assemblies. In addition to the type of displays we have mentioned in the beginning of this video, Connections offers other design options such as single and double shear connections with either wood to wood, wood to steel, or wood to concrete elements. By selecting all geometries, an overview of the connections and associated fasteners are displayed on the screen. Once the selection of the connection and fastener is made, details and information to be entered are all displayed in one view, which we will further discuss in the next video, where we will do an example of a lap splice connection.